my beauty squad how you been if you're new it's your girl jessica make sure you hit that subscribe button down in that corner or in that one and that you got that bell turned on that way you get notified for any and every video upload because your girl uploads often plus i go live every sunday tuesday and thursday 8 30 p.m eastern time and we have loads of fun over there we get to chit chat play with makeup help each other grow encourage each other learn new things over there like if i know something and i can help somebody else i try to suggest everything i've learned through youtube just because whenever i started seven months ago i had no idea what i was doing and i know so many of us are in the same kind of boat because it is new and anything i can help with i try my hardest on my lives because the easiest because y'all can ask me right there look hey sis i told you i'm watching your live and filming at the same time so i'm i'm still here sis <laughs> y'all that is my girl flaw but fabulous my awesome sister stacy uh, if you do not know her please go check her out she is so close to her watch time and she needs it by august so if y'all would be so kind and go run a playlist have an open device while you're sleeping just run it run a video or two anything will help let's show each other the support and love that we need i want to get everybody grown and up there it's it's awesome and everybody that well most of y'all might not know but if you do not have your watch time by a year like if you don't have your count and watch time by a year you lose it so we don't want her to lose any of her watch times because she's so close so let's get her there today is going to be a different kind of video that's why the angle's a little off. But we're going to be sitting here. Washing some brushes and sponges. I got this a while back from TJ Maxx. Can y'all see the detail in it? And it actually has a thing to put your hand in. So you can like scrub. You got the little ones jugging. And the big ones. I love the little design on it. I have not used this yet. I want to uh, use it with y'all for the first time. And my brushes, we clean it at all. I was actually, this probably ended up being a premiere. So, hey, down at the bottom. If not, I'm sorry. I was trying to wait on my boxy charm to get here. It was supposed to be here today, and it didn't get here. So, this is like a last minute video. And I need to clean it all these anyway. So, yeah. I've got my spray, my brush off spray that I got from TJ Maxx. This was like four ninety nine, five ninety nine, and it it does work a little bit. And I also have Baby Magic shampoo, which Baby Soap is really good to wash your brushes. It's gentle, but it cleans it. And I also have some makeup cleaner remover by Equal. And then the brand of this little mat right here is. That name right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. And this is what it came in. It was $4.99. And like I said, I've got this a while back. And it just says, you know, for larger shapes, for larger brushes, for finer texture, use the bottom ones. Use hair strap on back for a bat for easy grip. So we're going to get started in this process. I will bring y'all in just a little bit so y'all can actually see what I'm doing. I have some mats down right here. I have cloth down so it don't like ruin my table, of course. Y'all know how that is. I have like bowl of dry off cloth. I have all these sponges right here that have to be washed. I have my blitiful that is just pitiful. <laughs> my blitiful that is pitiful. So right here. So I will let these soak in the water while I wash the rest of them. I just want to spray it real fast with this first. And kind of see if this helps. Because this is supposed to like take the makeup off. So we're going to see how well it does. And like I said, this bowl has the baby soap and a little bit of this detergent, not much, but this doll detergent does help. 
And my sponges could use all the love they could get right now. And I'm just squeezing to let that water in there. I will just let them soak while we're wa washing the brushes. Y'all see how nasty that is? Like, ugh. I've been liking all my sponges. <laughs> Usually they'll get dirty and I'll just wait. Okay, let's use the next one. But I want to clean the ones I can clean. If there are certain ones that don't come off, they will be tossed to the trash. There's no point of keeping them. I also have my little clean water right here to rinse my brushes off. Might need extra water there. Yeah, I bought water over here for this. Just in case. But I'm actually glad because I want the water to cover the sponges. I might need to get one of my yendas to get me some more water so I don't have to leave. Now, I used to wash my sponges in olive oil. You could do that too. But it's really hard to get the olive oil out afterwards. Just by experience, like you have to work it work it through, like big time. This is like my all time favorite sponge. Y'all see me using this all the time. So I hope this will come clean, which I have one more. I need to order some more of them, like seriously though. Because I really do like it. Oh look. It already halfway clean. Already like just by that spray. But I'll read most of these out. Like just make sure the water's in there. I wanna see how nasty this water is. I'm kinda embarrassed. Hold on. Hold on. Look at that water. Eww. Okay, so let's get on to these brushes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of this on my mat. And I've had this a long time, y'all. Like, when I made a little bit, I use a little bit. I try to preserve everything just because eight kids, one on the way, you know, you don't want to spend too much. And then what I do with this for the other brushes is I spray the mat itself. So I don't really waste the spray. Just like that to where it's kind of wet. See this ugly, ugly, this little brush? I wet it first. And then I go up in there and I go ahead and put all that everywhere. Hold on, I'm going to break y'all in just a tad more so you actually see the process. Okay, there we go. Y'all kind of see a little bit better. Not right now. Y'all kind of see better what I'm doing. But just like that. See how clean it already is. And then I'm going to use this. And my main thing is I try my hardest not to wet it too much past the bristles. Because that's where the glue is. If you have like cheaper brushes. They tend to lose bristles a lot faster. Even the bits of brushes. Don't lose them. If you. Because I know so many people like just dump them in water and soak them. And I don't. Just because I am a brush lover. And I don't want to lose none of my brushes. Here's another one. It has a lot of stuff on it. Like I said. I'm just sweating it in there. Look. Eel. Then I 
See how clean already? And I'm just setting them in this little cup I have. I want to get me a little brush, Dad. This is a double or double DD. But that's basically all I'm, all I'm doing. Wet it, airing it, and I really hope this one worked out where it's the premiere. So hey, everybody, any questions? I'm gonna do a big brush real fast to show y'all. Side thing, I just wet the tip of it and just spinning it around up in there. This is a brush I use for bronzing, and as you can tell, like I'm not putting it all the way in there. I just dip it to about right there. And I'll let it just clean off. Then with these big ones, you really want to rig it out. They take a little bit longer to dry, of course. And this is a very thick brush. I love this brush. I got this brush by uh, Karen MUA. She sent me a a, uh, a cure, a cure, whatever kind of brush that box that is. I have one, uh, a collab challenge through her. And so I got to pick a little box. I picked that box, which I'm glad. I got a lot of goodies in it. She didn't know what was in the box herself, so she's like, give me a surprise. And it was. See? And the big brushes I will set over here just so that I get wet on my table. Here's my Kat Von D brushes that I use for contouring. This is the liquid contour brush. Look at all that mess. Ew. And it's really suggestive that you wash your brushes at least. I think it's like every two or three, two or three times a month depending on how much you use them. I wash my brushes. I used to wash them a lot often than what I do now. I've got I've got slack on it. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I do wash my brushes at least about once a month. Especially my eyeshadow brushes. Look at that. Ugh. Ew. But it got it all clean, as you can see. I love it when I have a whole bunch of clay brushes. Like, look how pretty! All right, and then this one I use for the contour, well, the bronzed, is the powder part. With that, get nasty. <laughs> I will have to re back up on my cl brush cleaner, though. I think by the time I wash all these, I will be about out. I can't really tell you the last time I washed my big brushes. It's been longer than a month, unfortunately. Sad to say, right? But, see how clean it got? I got that one little spot right there, which I can probably get it off. I'll put some baby soap on it this time.
I got it all clean. See? But I want to go ahead and check some of these sponges with y'all. The one you'll be able to tell really would be this one. It's got a little bit, so it's going to need more. So I'm going to finish this up. Go get some clean water over here, and I'll be right back. I'm back. Yay. Okay, so I've got all these washed. Look how they look. All clean. This one has been dyed like that for a while now, but I got just about all the ones I need to white again. I got them white. Hey, the, they're looking really good. I love how they smell too. My big brushes. These are what these look like. They're still a little wet, so I gotta let them dry, but other than that, they're ready to go. I love this fluffy brush, y'all. Yeah. I ain't really used it in a while, though. So, what I'm gonna do is, I done changed out this water like 10 times quite a bit y'all like you would not even imagine I went in there and kind of wrung everything out run my hands through them soak them put baby soap in it put some more spray on them I've done about all I can do to them for to see if they're gonna like get clean so now I'm gonna just like, run them one more time with my hands and then I went and cleaned this water. It's only a little dirty because I had to rinse off the last little brushes I had. But it's not that bad. So we're about to see. We're about to get all the soap out of these. This is what it looks like. I got this one literally all the way clean. So it will be one I'm keeping. It don't have no cracks in it. And this is kind of whenever I kind of clean out my sponges to be honest. But see, look how ugly shaped it is. This is such a weird looking shape anyway. It's a round baby one. But I got it with my real techniques and I, I like it. It works good. It's just oddly shaped. Alright, so I'm going to let this one set and dry. Next up, this is the Wet and Wild. Now, not all of these. I know like what brand they are or whatever, but... The ones I do know, I'll tell you, just in case. Look at that water. And, I mean, I wrung these out pretty good already. This one, I got all the way clean as well. I probably have to run this one under water some more. Like, it's just coming out soaked. But it's okay. I'll get them all done and show y'all which ones that are clean and I'm keeping. This one was a set of three that I had got from Ross's a while back. But I got this one all the way clean. As you can tell. So I'll be keeping that one. Which I'm kind of glad because I didn't really get a chance to use this one that much. And it works really good. I like the little tip on it. This one right here is a beauty creation sponge I just got from my girl Sadia. And this has literally been like my go-to sponge for since I've got them. And so this one had a lot of stuff on it. Like it's still got a little bit on the edge, like as you can tell. So I'll probably end up tossing this one just because I have more of these. And I, I mean, I can't get it clean, so I'm not going to keep it. Now, this one again was like that blue one I just showed you. It was a trio. It was this one, that one, and then this one right here. And I'll probably end up keeping all three of them because I haven't really used them. I, I, I kind of, I got mine stylish at the same time. And I bought them out and used them for a little bit, but not much. 
Let's see. She's clean. Here's the other one to the trio. And this one pretty much got clean too. It's a little stained, but not too bad. But I really like the shape on this because it's good for powder. Like if you want to, you know, bake. Oh, I got soap on my face. But yeah, like right there is the only little spot. I know you can see it now, right? I'm angled weird, so I can't really see what y'all see. My Blendiful baby, Blendiful. Y'all know I love my Blendiful, but I had to retire her a long time ago because she started tearing on me. And I'm on, this is like the final attempt to see if I can get her halfway clean, if I keep her. This one I will be keeping just because, as you can tell, she got clean. But this one I only really use for powder. That's probably why. Alright, mine's stylish. This was probably the most used sponge out of the group. So, let's see how this one did. Which, I have one more. But, I really need to order some more. I might see if Mr. Mario let me order some on my birthday. Because, you get three for like $20. It's not bad. See right there? And, yeah, I'll probably end up tossing this one, unfortunately, too. And, she's also cracking right here. But, like I said, this has been my most used sponge, to be honest. And, whenever they start cracking, that's when I kind of just give up on them. Alright, time for the truth, y'all. Let's see how this blendiful looks. It still looks like crap. Literally, looks like crap. I don't think it's any saving her. I think it's time to go ahead and toss her too. And I really don't want to. I need to. I need to buy me another one of these. Actually, these are only eighteen dollars. It wasn't that bad. I've been trying to wait for Tati to come out with a new product, so I can order more than just a blendiful. So I ain't gotta pay for the shipping. But hey. I guess not, not right now, but see, she's pretty beat up. Ooh, UPS, maybe my box is here, huh? But, that is it, y'all. So, I'll probably end up getting rid of the Blendiful. Don't want to, as much as I don't want to. I'm going to open the Let's see if, stop it here. No, it didn't stop here. Damn it. But, that's nasty. Like, that's nasty, y'all. You know? And we put that on our face, and then that's how we break out. And I'm telling you, sponges and brushes are very important to keep clean so you don't keep putting germs back on your face. And myself, I'm guilty of it. Like, I, I need to step it up a little bit. And also, you're supposed to change them out, like, every one to three months. If you keep it clean and do not put it in a sealed place where it can like accumulate germs, you let it air dry once you clean them and let them air dry and you inspect them really good that they don't have mold and stuff on them. Some of them do live a little bit longer, depending on how much you use them. So, you know, just try to keep a lookout. You know, you start seeing some funky stuff on your sponge, throw it out. Even if you love it so much, throw it out, get another one. It sucks, but, you know, you don't want to put germs and stuff back on your face. That's, like, the worst thing. You got to have a beautiful campus to start the creation for it to actually stick. But I love y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for watching this. I hope this helped anybody in it that might have wanted tips on um, how to clean your brushes and sponges. Again, we're all different. We're all unique. There's no really wrong way or right way. It's... You know, there's hygienic ways and then not, but whatever to get your brushes clean, make sure you try to clean them. I do love this for spot cleaning as well. If I use like really bright colors, I do try to like wash my spun my brushes right then, so it don't stay. Stain is bad, 
and it does help. It's, it's, it saved a lot of my brushes already. And then again, this was only a couple books at Walmart, and it's, it's lasted me at least two or three months. But I use it with this combo. So I'm not just using this. If I was just to like squirt this completely in there, I would have ran through this a long time ago. But I put like half and half to kind of spread it out a little bit. Like I said, I try my hardest to conserve as much as possible. But I really like this little thing. It worked really good. I like that you can hold it on your hand and have a good grip on it. I actually, um, at the end, I had it sitting up on the side of the bowl and I was just scrubbing from there. It stayed pretty decent too because it's silicone. So that was neat. But I love y'all. Until the next video. Bye.